Bethlehem Steel Corporation, once the second largest steel manufacturer in the United States, played a crucial role in shaping the industrial landscape of America. From its founding in the 19th century to its eventual decline in the 20th century, Bethlehem Steel's story is one of innovation, expansion, and significant contributions to major historical events. The origins of Bethlehem Steel date back to 1857 with the establishment of the Bethlehem Iron Company in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Initially, the company focused on producing railroad rails, which were in high demand during America's rapid expansion westward. As the company grew, it expanded its product line to include a variety of steel products. In 1899, under the leadership of Charles M. Schwab, the Bethlehem Steel Corporation was formally established, marking the beginning of an era of aggressive growth and innovation. Bethlehem Steel played a pivotal role during both world wars. Its steel was used to build battleships, tanks, and other military equipment. The company's shipbuilding division, Bethlehem Shipbuilding Corporation, became one of the largest in the world, constructing over 1,100 ships during World War II alone. Beyond its contributions to the war effort, Bethlehem Steel was also instrumental in the construction of some of America's most iconic structures. The steel was used in the Golden Gate Bridge, the Chrysler Building, and Rockefeller Center. All came from Bethlehem Steel. The mid-20th century marked the peak of Bethlehem Steel's operation. The company employed over 300,000 workers and produced millions of tons of steel annually. It was a time of prosperity and growth as the post-war economy boomed and the demand for steel soared. However, the later half of the 20th century brought significant challenges, increased competition from foreign steel producers, rising labor costs, and outdated manufacturing processes began to take their toll. Bethlehem Steel struggled to adapt to the changing market conditions. By the 1980s, the company was in serious financial trouble. Despite effort to modernize and cut costs, Bethlehem Steel was unable to compete with the more efficient and cheaper foreign steel producers. In 2001, after more than a century of operation, Bethlehem Steel filed for bankruptcy. The company's remaining assets were eventually sold off and its iconic Bethlehem plant was demolished. Today, the site of the former Bethlehem Steel plant has been transformed into a symbol of renewal and remembrance. Steel Stacks, a cultural entertainment district, now stands where the mighty steel mills once roared. It's a place where the legacy of Bethlehem Steel is honored and its contributions to American industry are remembered. Bethlehem Steel may no longer be in operation, but its impact on American industry, architecture, and history remains indelible. It is a testament to the ingenuity and resilience that defined an era of unprecedented industrial growth. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating stories from our past. Until next time, explorers, stay safe.